Desij ABC News, AGT Live. Watching me live on Facebook, uh, I wish you a good afternoon. And here in India, of course, in abroad, I mean outside the country, India, it must be somewhere good morning, somewhere, you know, good evening. Uh, but here in India, it's a good afternoon. Uh, right now, it's uh, just uh, 4 uh, 4 25 p.m. All right, so before we move forward to know about a GRE, we need to know what is GRE. Uh, friends, a GRE means a graduate record exam. As part of the jury test pattern 2018, the total duration of the computer delivered GRE general test is 3 hours 45 minutes. And there were six sections with a 10 minute break following the third section. According to the GRE test pattern 2018, the unscored and the research section did not account uh, towards the actual GRE 2018 score. And research section may be included in place of the unscored section. The verbal reasoning and uh, quantitative uh, reasoning sections are scored on 130 to 170 scales. The sections uh, here, I mean, is analytical and writing and numbers of questions and one analyze an issue and task and one analyze an argument task something like that and a lot of time is 30 minutes per task right so in the verbal sections it comes a reasoning that is two sections okay so 20 questions per section i would repeat again uh, i would repeat 20 sections per section uh, 20 uh, questions per section uh, for, I mean, uh, pardon me and 30 minutes uh, per section all right and uh, in uh, quantitative reasoning, uh, two sections and uh, 20 questions uh, per section. Here's the same. And uh, again, it, uh, time is 35 minutes uh, per, uh, you know, section. And again, if we go to the unscored research, uh, it will vary and, uh, you know, even the duration will vary. Uh, such a test is the, un, un, you know, uh, it's a standardized test they used to fetch admissions in various graduate schools for business graduate schools in various countries and especially the United States and uh, so uh, like that and uh, more than 11 like graduate schools um, applicants from approximately 160 countries uh, take the GRE general test at uh, 700 uh, test centers and aspirants uh, interested in uh, pursuing a master's degree as a specialized master's course, an MS, MBA, MEM, or a doctoral degree uh, can sit for the GRE test. In addition to the GRE revised general test, and there are six GRE subjects, a test with that to evaluate candidates and knowledge in their respective field. GRE test is conducted by ETS, that means Educational Testing Service, all right? So, the GRE test appeared in 2018, that is uh, Educational Testing and Service GRE exam conducting body has prescribed the test pattern of GRE 2018 um, uh, in, in two different formats, uh, namely GRE General Test and GRE Subject Test. So, the GRE uh, test pattern 2018 helps uh, to evaluate a candidate's verbal, quantitative, uh, critical thinking and analytical writing skill. The jury, the general test measures the overall aptitude in terms of academic skills of an aspirant. The skills are categorized into three sections, and the verbal reasoning, quantity reasoning, and analytical writing. However, as part of the GRE uh, 2019 test pattern, the GRE subject test evaluates a candidate's knowledge in specific fields like biology, chemistry, literature in English, mathematics, physics, and psychology. Uh, Carriers 363 in this article projects the jury uh, test pair in 2018 so that the candidates can check the same and plan and prepare accordingly. The detailed study of the three sections of the GRE general test in accordance with the GRE test and the GRE test pattern uh, 2018 quantitative reasoning. The quantitative reasoning section tests for candidates' ability to analyze the quantitative information and apply mathematical skills and elementary mathematical concepts pertaining to arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and data interpretation. The quantitative reasoning sections of the GRE test consists of four types of questions. 
uh, when it's a quantitative comparison questions and multiple choice questions, select one answer choice like that. And multiple choice questions mean select uh, one or more answer choices. Uh, numeric entry questions. The calculators are made available to the test takers when they are attending the quantity reasoning uh, section and computer-based test candidates uh, get an on-screen calculator and paper-based uh, candidates are provided one by test uh, center. Aspiring candidates can check the uh, sample questions of the quantity reasoning sections of the GRE test the pattern 2018, um, you know, uh, somewhere on the website rather, on the internet. Okay? So, um, what is the pattern of GRE actually? Um, I mean, GRE analytical uh, writing. That is, the analytical writing section evaluates the candidate's ability to articulate the complex ideas clearly and effectively, and it provides relevant reasons and instances to support the stated views on specific ideas. It analyzes the claims and information provided uh, means coherently, effectively, and logically. It discuss a topic in English. According to the test pattern of GRE 2018, the analytical writing section of uh, the GRE test has two separately timed analytical writing tasks. One is analyze an issue test. Uh, this task evaluates the candidate's ability to think critically about a topic and express their thoughts in writing. And, and second is uh, analyze an argument task. Uh, this task asks the candidate's ability to understand, analyze, and evaluate arguments and uh, convey their evaluation in writing. Aspiring candidates will be able to check the sample questions of the analytical writing sections of the GRE test pattern 2018. Um, uh, right, so uh, GRE uh, test, that means GRE test pattern uh, 2018, if we want to discuss in details, um, you know, it goes like that. First of all, it comes biology test. Uh, this test consists of approximately 195 choice questions based on descriptions of laboratory and uh, field uh, situations and the diagrams or experimental results. The economy is organized into three areas in cellular and molecular biology and uh, organismal biology and ecology and evolution. An equal weight is given to each of these three areas. In addition to the total score, a subscore in each of these uh, subfield areas is reported. Uh, secondly, it comes a chemistry test. You know, the test consists of 130 multiple choice questions. A periodic table is uh, printed in the test booklet, as well as a table of information presenting various physical constants and a few conversion factors among SI units. All right, so next comes a uh, literature English test. Uh, this test consists of uh, 213 questions uh, on a poetry, a drama, biography, the essay, the short story, the novel, criticism, literary theory, and the history of the language. Uh, some questions are based on the short words printed in their entry, uh, you know, entirely other on uh, excerpts uh, from longer words. The test draws on literature in English from the, uh, the British Isles, the United States, and other parts of the world. Uh, mathematics test, really, as part of the jury test pattern 2018, this uh, test consists of 66 multiple choice questions and drawn from uh, courses commonly offered at the undergraduate level. Approximately 50% of the questions involve calculus and its uh, applications. About 25% of the questions in the test are in elementary algebra, linear algebra, abstract. Uh, physics tests. This uh, test consists of 105 choice questions and are based on diagrams of graphs of experimental data and uh, descriptions of uh, physical situations. The aim of the test is to determine uh, the extent of the examinees who grasp of a fundamental principle and their ability to apply uh, these principles to solve problems. Uh, next comes the psychology test. Uh, the test consists of approximately 205 multiple choice questions uh, as per the jury test pattern 2018 is concerned. And this question has five options from uh, which the examiner has to select the correct options or best answer. Uh, stimulus uh, materials uh, such as uh, a description of an uh, experiment or a graph may, be ser you know, may serve as the basis for several questions. 
Uh, the candidates uh, kindly note uh, the, the biochemistry is selling molecular biology test for jury subject test is uh, no longer available. And the biochemistry cell and uh, molecular biology test has been uh, discontinued uh, since December 2016. For candidates uh, who have taken this test in 2015 to 2016, uh, the scores of these tests uh, can be reported. Um, for the next five years also, the jury computer science uh, test was discontinued uh, following the April 2013 uh, test uh, administration. All right, so jury is uh, conducted around the year at uh, uh, more than uh, 1,000 jury 2018 test centers uh, in uh, more than 160 countries. The jury scores are used as uh, one of the selection uh, parameters for many uh, graduate schools uh, worldwide. Aspirants can take the test by once uh, every 21 days and jury test dates uh, can be chosen uh, by the candidates. And what makes the exam so flexible is that there are no specific eligibility criteria of jury 2018 test, right? So aspirants can apply for the test irrespective of the age and qualification. However, uh, since the test is uh, taken for admission to graduate programs, it is uh, generally taken by the students who have uh, completed or will be completing their undergraduate program at the time of the final admission. If you are curious about a dates and free, uh, you know, uh, of course, there are other uh, facilities, including the fees, then Jerry can be given after every 21 days and after maximum of five attempts in one year. And for every new item, registration fees. Uh, to be paid and early bird offers available as well. Uh, jury test dates, yeah, this is a big concern and um, those who are uh, the aspirants, uh, they are very much curious about it, right? So the computer-based jury test is offered year-round various test centers. Uh, you can take the jury test day once uh, in every 21 days and off to five times within, uh, you know, a 10 plus two, 12 month period. And this applies even if you cancel your scores on a test taken previously. However, you have to first create my GRE account in order to register for a specific date. All right, so when I know about a GRE registration, it's server, right? Uh, I'm sure you are also curious about that. To register for GRE candidates, uh, it may, uh, they have to uh, first create uh, my GRE account and uh, there are four ways to register for the GRE general test. They are online and phone and mail and fax. Registration. All right, so candidates can opt for online and mail registration in the case of GRE subject test. GRE score. You know, uh, three scores are reported. The variable reasoning on 130 to 170 score scales with point increments quantitative reasoning also on 130 to 170 score scale with a one point increment and analytical writing score on a, a 0 to 6 score level. In half point increments, right, uh, official scores are mailed in 10 to 15 days after your test date. Uh, jury sample paper, uh, you know, jury sample paper includes the practice and sample papers uh, of the three sections of jury variable reasoning, quantitative reasoning, and analytical writing. And validity of a jury, uh, the jury scores are valid for five years. So, right, so uh, one can request a re-score up to three months and after your test date and the jury preparation tips, yes, yeah, so, um, you know, because you are very much curious how to prepare yourself. So, uh, the aspiring jury candidates should be well versed with the jury preparation tips along with the intense preparation for one of the most popular entrance examinations taken uh, to pursue graduate studies abroad, and especially the USA. And the preparation tips are useful for the uh, prospective test takers as well as the candidates who are planning to take jury in near future. All right, the jury 2018 general test evaluates an aspirant's verbal, quantitative, and critical thinking and the analytical writing skills, which are compiled in three sections: verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, and analytical reasoning. I repeat it, all right, because I've just said it a few minutes ago. The jury subject test, on the other hand, measures a candidate's knowledge in specific fields. Okay, so that also I discussed uh, uh, just uh, two three minutes ago. And test pattern uh, also not so much uh, uh, you know tough to understand the fact, right? So 
You know, um, if you are a jury aspirant, uh, jury verbal reasoning is very important. Uh, that is, uh, jury verbal reasoning section evaluates a candidate's skills to analyze and draw conclusions, understand and add value to data, and the candidates are required to understand and uh, summarize the structure of a text as well. Uh, the verbal uh, reasoning of sections of the jury test prepared in 28 we ask for the three following areas uh, content information analysis, analysis and evaluation, analysis of relationship between different parts of the sentences, and differentiate between concepts and words and the relationships between them, and jury preparation tips uh, for verbal reasoning. Uh, learn new words. Uh, candidates uh, uh, should learn new words regularly. It is uh, the most important jury preparation tip. Along with the learning new words, learn and practice the usage of the words as well. It is always interesting to apply with the words and their formations. Uh, this exercise includes new words and improves your vocabulary uh, to a great extent as well. And the candidates uh, on the lookout for new words may find websites, you know, various websites. I'm not uh, going to mention any, it depends on you um, because you are very much efficient in this regard, I know that. A practice reasoning and uh, reading comprehension, right? So, reading comprehension forms a big part of the jury paper. Hence, um, the aspirants should practice as many uh, reading comprehensions as possible. Uh, it should be treated as mathematics. The practice of at least two to three reading comprehensions in a day would be helpful for the test takers to fare decent scores in GRE test. And check your uh, grammar. Another, this is the another major uh, jury preparation tips. Where uh, you know for grammar, uh, you know you have to practice extensively. It is not uh, an easy task to learn all the rules of grammar. Uh, the simplest way here would be to understand the basic uh, usage and uh, very importantly learn tenses and other particulars of English grammar. All right, so. Um, someone asked me uh, to talk about the quantity reasoning. Yeah, so let me uh, d discuss this quantity reasoning. is uh, um, It's a section evaluates the basic mathematical skills of the test taker. Uh, candidates need to possess this knowledge of the standard mathematical concepts and their application in solving problems. The quantitative sections are asked for two tasks with 20 questions in each, and the time allowed to complete each section is 35 minutes only. All right, so. Uh, here, some of other tips I want to just uh, uh, share with you. It's, it's a practice elementary mathematics. It is imperative for candidates aspiring for jury to make sure their concepts of elementary mathematics are clear, and uh, the main topics in these sections include arithmetic, algebra, numetry, and the data analysis. However, uh, instead of direct questions relating to the topics, candidates would ask a question so where they need to apply the mathematical concepts. And it means the exam checks the confidence of the test taker in the respective topic. So, the candidates should ensure that the basic concepts are clear before taking out the jury test. All right, friends. So, thank you all for being with me. Um, you know, and uh, I want to just uh, meet you next time with more queries and updates. Until then, bye bye and have a good time. This is ABC News, AGTV Live.